So the question is, can a single DAW function change your entire workflow? And I want to give one hint away to you guys. It has to do with the command disable tracks. Let's find out. So whenever I see discussion about working with sample libraries or building huge orchestral templates, I'm really surprised how many people don't know about this little function disabling tracks, which may change your entire workflow. And I'm not exaggerating here because it changed mine. So let me switch over to Cubase right now and let me show you how that works. Okay, so right now somewhere on the screen, you should see the used memory for my current orchestral template. So most important, where can you find that command disable tracks? So let me open up my strings folder here and highlight a single instrument channel and right click my mouse and there you can see disable track. So what you can also do is go to the upper menu, edit key commands and I already highlighted this for you, but if you don't find it, just type disable and just click the little zoom button here and then you get over to that command disable enable track. So in my case, it has been assigned to the eight on the numpad but I also put that command on my Elgato Stream Deck so I can easily hit one key and deactivate or activate as many tracks as I want. So let's find out why this feature is so powerful. Let me just highlight all the tracks on my strings folder here, even though there are empty contact instances in here. And let's hit the command disable tracks. So please keep in mind that disabling or enabling tracks takes a little bit of time depending on how many samples you've loaded. So I just wanted to mention this because I'm editing out the waiting phase. Okay, so now let's do the same for my brass and the woodwinds and the orchestral percussions right now. So as you can see now, all my strings, all my brass instruments, wood instruments and orchestral percussions are now disabled. And now let's find out how much memory I'm currently using. So please keep in mind that I have additional instruments open, that I didn't disable all instruments from my template and that I have additional software running on my machine. But as you can see, almost 20 gigabytes have been freed up. So finally, let me explain you why this feature can be so very powerful, especially when you want to build your dream template and have almost all instruments available right away at your fingertips. So the simple steps would be that you start building an empty session with as many instruments as you can load and then start disabling all of these tracks. Then you add tracks to your template and disable these again until you finally build your dream template with all tracks disabled. The next step would be that you head over to File, Save as Template and then simply name your template and save that as a preset and hit OK. So whenever you want to create a new session now, head over to File, New Project or hit Control N and then in the More tab, you see your saved template right here. Then simply pick your project location and hit create. Finally, you can enjoy an entire template with all the instruments you have ever wanted to load without being worried about your memory. The only thing you obviously have to take care of is enable the track again before you can use it. Another thing I want to mention is that this only works with instrument tracks, not with multi-timbral setups. Also, it's important to not confuse this method with freezing tracks or rendering them to audio. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that I was hopefully able to change your workflow for the better. If you have any comments, feedback or questions, use the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this video. I would be really happy if you leave a like or even subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you on the next video.